Madam Clerk, if you are ready to go. Thanks. Member Winton. Member Tinsley Smith. Member Tally. Here. Member Starr. Member Dr. Regina Randall. Present. Member Luckman. Member Lanto. I saw her on. Lanto was on. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's on. on. Oh, she is, but she's on. She's on. Member Joyner. Present. Member Hughes. Present. Member Garcia. Member English Barnhill. Member Douglas. Member Crawford. Present. Member Cash. Member Carter. She is on. Vice Chair Gator. Present. Member Carter. Chair Daub. Here. Okay. I, do we, we don't have a quorum. No. I'm sorry. Have. Member Lanto is here. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, next item, please. Item B, approval of the December 8th, 2022 meeting minutes. Which if there's not a quorum, we can't approve the minutes. Okay. All right. Um, we will just move on to the next item. Item C, chair's remarks. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I, Chair Roberts uh, sent out an email that she was unable to attend today. And Vice Chair Gator, I believe you're not gonna be able to stay for the whole meeting. So I am acting chair for this meeting. And um, a little bit of a different style of chairing meetings. So I chair in the Wayne County Commission style. So we'll just <laughs> roll with that for today. Uh, next item, Madam Clerk. Item D, unfinished business. There is none listed. Moving to item E1 under new business, Women's History Month, free screening of Aftershock, Commissioner Dahl. All right, so um, I, my legislative director, Francesca, and I did a little bit of research on getting this screening happening. So um, we reached out to the director of the movie Aftershock and got some information. Um, so basically, the there's no cost for to hold the screening. Um, film is about 90 minutes long. There is a deadline for us to confirm this screening, and the deadline's coming up pretty soon. So um, they want us to confirm the screening by February 3rd. And they are encouraging us to hold the screening um, in February, Black History Month, um, or March, which is Women's History Month, or and or during Black Maternal Health Week, which is April 11th through the 17th. So, um, you know, I, this is, is kind of creeping up on us. Um, I think if we, you know, I, maybe March would be ideal because it seems like February is really kind of too soon, but it all depends on, you know, finding a venue uh, also. So uh, Francesca and I are kind of um, looking at venues, possible, possible venues. So I would also love to get some suggestions from you on, possible venues, list of um, ideas that I've come up with so far is uh, the Arab American Museum in Dearborn. Um, heard that that is a pretty nice place to hold a, you know, they have a, a nice like screening area and it, Dearborn's sort of central to, to the county. Um, the, the Michigan Regional Council of Carpenters and Millwrights, their apprenticeship um, center, the new one in Detroit, they have a really nice like community center. I don't know if anyone has, has gone in there and toured it, 
Um, but yeah, they have like a really nice screen and it's a huge area with chairs and everything. And I think that they let, um, you know, people use that. So I haven't contacted them to see if they would let us use it, but, you know, um, I think a lot of us have contacts with the carpenters and, um, you know, we, maybe we could work something out. Um, so that's possibility. Uh, you know, we were talking about the DIA earlier. I sent them a note. Um, I think that's kind of like that maybe a 1% chance we could get that, but I just sent them an email to see like, maybe. So those are some, um, possibilities that I have on my list. If anyone has any, um, other ideas, if you want to just, uh, yeah, send me an email or if we can, if you want to, um, let me know right now we can uh you know i don't want to take up too much time during the meeting but um member crawford what you got um yes um if possible if you do need a contact with the meal rights um i do have a direct contact one of my former um co-workers is actually um over the community relations oh okay and, um, perfect i'm a mentor with the midnight golf program so we also hold events there and so um, there's free parking, <laughs> which is yeah. a plus. Right. And it's enough parking. So if that is something to consider in a timely manner, I can uh, reach out to them, just let me know, but I am open. Uh, I like the Arabic uh, central uh, location there in Dearborn, which would be phenomenal as well. So you know, as a backup, just let me know. Yeah, okay. And I'm, I'm kind of trying to think of something that it's easy to get to like right off of, you know, like the Carpenters is right off of 96. Um, maybe even something that is off of like a bus route for people who don't have a car. Um, so just trying to keep all of those factors in mind. Um, but yeah, so if anyone else has any ideas, shoot me an email and um, I will uh, I'll keep that. Um, up to date, and, and that's so. So that's my update on the aftershock screening. And um, Chair Bell has joined us. Hi, Chair Bell. So, um, any other further, any other questions or discussion on whatever item we're on on the aftershock screening? Item one. Okay, hearing none, uh, Madam Clark, next item. Item E2, Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Detroit Walk, October 2023. Okay, who had this item for discussion? I think this might have been Cynthia, Member Douglas's item. And I don't think she's in attendance today. So we might just have to pass on this. Was there anyone else who was working on this? Okay. All right, um, Madam Clerk, we're just gonna pass this item. Uh, so moving on to the next item. Item F, update on resource fair, member Dr. Randall. All right, Dr. Randall, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, you don't have to raise your hand. I'm not being a teacher today, but uh, you could nod your head. How many people remember uh, the word, uh, using the word intergovernmental as the original title. You can nod your head, but I, we've used it up until Madam Chair asked us not to and I gra we graciously agreed. But there was a reason why that word was there. Intergovernmental means involving two or more government or levels of government. And I do apologize if uh, that was misunderstood that it would just be a woman's commission event. It really is an intergovernmental event. And I am working with several Detroit City Council members. When we get them confirmed, I will share those names with you. And I am going, I'm reaching out to other entities for assistance as well. But the women's commission will be identified as the organizing partner for the Women's Resource Fair. No one else will have that title. The other involvements will just have uh, the word partner or maybe a sponsoring partner or something like that. The Women's Commission 
is the organizing partner for the Women's Resource Fair. Everybody's name will appear on everything. Uh, Madam Chair, both Madam Chairs, Vice Chair. The, it will remain just, if, if you could recall the, the uh, document that I gave you all, I passed out at the in-person meeting. It will pretty much be that with maybe some additional names on there but we're not taking anything away from the Women's Commission, but I did want to clarify that there are other entities involved, but there's only one organizing partner. Are there any questions? Um, I do have one question. Have um, Is there a budget for the event? Has yes, uh, Madam Chair received the budget several months ago, and that is when she let us know that she would be donating $5,000 to our event. So okay. she's seen the budget, and uh, we're going to get we're going to submit an updated budget as well. When you when you say Madam Chair, you mean uh, Chair Bell. Alicia, Alicia. Alicia Bell. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. So she does have that. Okay. Um, are there any other? Questions for Member Randall on the Women's Resource Fair. I do have one. Well, member Gator will also give us another update. I, you know, so that she's going to speak briefly after I do. But if there are any more questions for me, I'll be more than happy to try to answer them as best I can. Okay. Okay. Um, now we will hear from oh, our I'm General sorry. Vice Chair Latanya Gator. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. everyone. Oh, I'm sorry, if there was anyone who maybe was missed who needed to ask Dr. Randall a question, I can still hold. No, I don't see any hands. Um, you may proceed. Okay, thank you, Commissioner Dobb. Um, my report is gonna be brief and it's more a ask. Um, I am chairing the medical uh, committee for this event and we are still in need of someone from the commission to be a part of this work if you choose to. Currently, it's just myself and member Tally. And again, what we're after and what we're looking for is that you can make a commitment to attend regular meetings as we plan out the event. Uh, that will be accessible as much as we can be, as it will be through Zoom or some other video conference format. Uh, we ask that you make it to those meetings regularly. We are looking to have, again, a medical and a mental health component to be able to add to that resource sphere. Um, so if there is anyone who would like to be a part of that, I and I would assume Dr. Randall too would greatly appreciate it. And you can reach me via email or phone. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions, discussion on member um, Gators or volunteers to join? Any volunteers? <laughs> Um, if you don't have any today, um, please contact a member Randall or mem and member Gator um, to volunteer. I have a question, Madam please. Chair. That that yes. concludes our report. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes, Chair Bell. Question. Hello, yeah. hello everyone. How are you? Uh, welcome, Happy New Year. A uh, quick question. Uh, thank you all for your hard work, uh, member Gator, member Randall, Randall, member Carter, for your hard work in getting this together. I know it's going to be very successful. Just want to. Uh, continue to ask the members of the Women's Commission to uh, get involved at some level. Uh, this will be our first big uh, project. So I think all of us, uh, there's room for everyone at the table to get involved. So if you haven't already uh, joined the, the, the steering committee, where I think everyone should probably at some point join um, the, the big steering committee or one of the components of just to make sure that we have all hands on deck to make this successful. So please do so. And again, we look forward to the event. It's going to be super wonderful. But uh, timing is of the essence when it comes to planning, because it is, you know, that time will be here in a moment. So please just join the committee, get involved and uh, make it a great event because this will be our first really big event that will have all of your names on it. So we want to make sure that it is successful because it will have all of our names on it. So uh, that's all I wanted to say. And if there are any questions, I'm sure uh, Dr. Rando, uh, Vice Chair Gator will uh, certainly uh, answer them, even if it's offline, just to make sure it's a, a super event. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Chair Bell. Um, one, one question, uh, um, Member Randall, can you just remind us the date of this event? My pleasure. 
It is August, no, it's not August, it's April 27th uh, okay. this year. April 27th. North, Northwest campus of Wayne County Community College on Outer Drive. Okay. And is there a time? Uh, the time is a little fluid now because we got to talk to Madam Chair in a couple of days. So okay. let me hold off on the time. It may okay. not be as long as I initially said it would be. So we'll provide an update for you on that as well. Okay, great. Um, Member Crawford? Yes, thank you, Dr. Randall. That was right, that was right on time. I was going to uh, ask to clarify because um, some people may need, I don't know, P possible PTO or what type of capacity, time commitment, or possible rotating shifts, anything that can help make us all great in this event. Um, so that'll be awesome to so that we all can prepare and be able to support. <laughs> thank you. Uh, and thank you, Summer, because uh, let me say now, we want you to take off work for on April 27th. I'm not going to play with this. Okay, so we'd like for you to all be there. Okay, we need everyone's help. We want you to be, and we appreciate what you're doing plan in the planning, but we need you there that day as well. So please take off the whole day. I think you'll enjoy it. And, that, and just look that up, and that's a Thursday, so everyone knows. The last Thursday of April. Okay. All right. Um, one last call for questions or discussion on the women's. Um, I just totally lost what <laughs> this is our, our event, our big event. Okay. Hearing none, um, we are going to actually move back on the agenda. Uh, Member Douglas has joined us. So I'm going to. Um, open the floor up to member Douglas to talk about the um, cancer trade walk. Thank you, Chair Dobb. Um, I apologize for being late, <laughs> duty calls. So um, this year, of course, usually they have the strides um, walk in October. Um, I don't have a date yet. They haven't posted the date for that walk. Uh, we tried to do it last year, so I wanted to bring it to you early in January so that we can plan better for it. So as soon as I come up, as soon as they have a date posted, I will let everyone know um, about it. But we would like to get a team together to walk uh, for breast cancer awareness, because you all know that that is one thing that's near and dear to my heart. My sister is a survivor. Um, and I, at one point, was diagnosed with it, but luckily that did not pan out, so blessings uh, to that, and I'm sure that everyone at one point or another has been touched by someone who has dealt with um, this, and so I would like for us to get a team together to be able to walk together as one, and um, as soon as I get the information, we want to get t-shirts and things like that to identify us and so that we could um, have an enjoyable day. I've done the walk before and it's been really fun. They have a lot of activities and it's just a great walk starting in Hart Plaza and, and it's always beautiful to be on the water. So um, I will bring more information to this body and I appreciate you all taking the opportunity to listen to me. Okay, thank you, Member Douglas. One question, this is not the, the Susan um, J. Coleman or whatever it is, the, that walk is the is one um, making strides in Detroit. Okay, so, it's so this the is the American different. Cancer Society. Okay, this the three day walk. That's what I'm talking about. This is different than that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. Um. Oh, and then is there a minimum amount of money that we need to raise? I don't believe so. They don't have the details yet, but usually um, donations are taken. Um, I know that, but again, they haven't posted anything. So as a team, we can solicit for monies and whatever monies. There's not a minimum. So, okay. Okay, okay sounds good. Is there any um, questions or discussion on the breast cancer walk? All right, hearing none. Uh, Madam yeah. Clark, let's move on. Uh, I think we're on... Item G now. Oh, I just had a message from our clerk. So we, we do have a quorum. So let's move back to our approval of the meeting minutes. 
Um, can I get a motion for the uh, meeting minutes for December 8th? I make a motion. All right, is there support? Support, support member Gator. All right, it's been moved support. by member Douglas, supported by member Gator. Oh, I forget how to do this on Zoom. Madam Clerk, do I need to do a roll call vote or can I just do a voice vote? A voice vote. Okay. Um, all those in favor, uh, please unmute yourselves and then just say aye. 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 Okay. Is there anyone opposed? Anyone who wishes to abstain? All right, motion passes. Okay, Madam Clerk, uh, next item. Item G, such other matters as may be properly submitted before the commission. Okay, I have none. Next item, please. Public comments. Did we receive any emails? No Public emails have been received. Okay. Is there anyone on? Uh, is there anyone with, with us who wishes to make a public comment on Zoom or on the phone? Madam Chair, uh, Vice Chair yes. Gator, if I may. Yes. Um, I cordially invite everyone on this call to the Dearborn Heights Community and Cultural Relations Commission MLK Day Walk of Service to be held on January the 16th from 1 to 3 at Annapolis High School in Dearborn Heights. Uh, we will be offering refreshments, a warming station, art station for all of our guests. We will be having Dr. Weeks as a guest speaker, who's the D7 superintendent, NAACP Western Wayne President Gina Wilson-Stewart, and Honorable Justice Kyra Harris Bowden uh, to lead us on that walk. So again, please come out, please tell everyone you can, and we hope to see you there. Thank you. Thank you for that invitation. Um, Member Taylor. Yeah, thank you, uh, Chair uh, Daub. Um, just to piggyback on um, uh, Vice Chair Gator, um, I sent out an email regarding our Dr. King celebration in the city of Romulus. Um, we've done this for like 21 years. Um, it's a very special event for us. Um, very exciting. Um, we think on, this is going to be one of our top uh, events that we've done over the 21 years. So I am cordially inviting everybody. Uh, thank you, uh, Vice Chair Gator, for reaching out. Um, also for uh, Member Carter for reaching out as well. Um, you're all invited. Um, I'm not going to be at the walk because I'm usually with our city clerk. She kind of manages our uh, Dr. King walk along with our uh, Reverend, Reverend Willis. He's our uh, president of our ministerial alliance out here in Romulus. So I'm usually with her at the, in the auditorium setting up and prepping for the program. So I don't, I'm not able to do the walk, but I will be at the program. You are more than welcome to do the walk. I've sent the flyer for the walk and I've also sent the flyer for the program. And we're also doing a drive that day, hats, coats, gloves, um, anything you want to bring to help with this drive, please bring it along. Um, it's going to be a full day. Um, I plan to make it a full day for myself. I will be attending the Dearborn Heights one as well. So you will see me, Member Gator, there as well. I'm going to just make a full day of it. And I hope you will too. Thank you. Wonderful. Well, we will hope for really good weather on that yeah. day for all of your walks. Okay. Anyone else for public comments? Okay. Hearing none, Madam Clerk, next item. Adjournment. Can I get a motion for to adjourn? Motion by Chair Gator. It's been moved and um, supported. And um, all those in favor of adjourning? Aye. 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 Anyone? <laughs> any objections? Okay. Without objection, we are now adjourned. Thank you, everyone, for a great meeting and have a good afternoon. We'll see you Thank next you, Commissioner. You're an excellent chair. Excellent job. Job. Well, thanks. Excellent job. Excellent job. Great job. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.